figure four shows a sketch of a Ferris wheel. The height above the ground, h meters, of a passenger on the Ferris wheel, t seconds after the wheel starts turning, is modeled by the equation h equals the modulus of a sine bt plus alpha degrees. So our calculators need to be in degrees. Shift, shift, set up angle unit into degrees. A, B, and alpha are constants. Figure five shows a sketch graph the graph of H against T for one revolution of the wheel. Given that the maximum height is 50, so the maximum height up here will be 50. The passenger is one meter above the ground when it starts turning. And it takes 720 seconds to complete one revolution. So this is 720. Find the complete equation for the model. So the exact value of A, the exact value of B, and alpha to three significant figures. Okay, so we've been given the form of the model. So H is the mod of A sine BT plus alpha degrees. So that's our model. And using this information, so the maximum height is 50. So that will be our A. So sine usually goes between one and minus one. So if it goes up to 50, it must be multiplied by 50. So A must be 50. The third bit of information, the wheel takes 720 seconds to complete a revolution. So this part of the sine graph is usually uh, 180 degrees. So it's going to go, it's not going to be, it's because it's the mod, it's going to be this sort of shape. So this is 180 degrees, but 720 seconds. So it's been stretched out. So B is a quarter. B is one quarter. So when we're transforming graphs, if it's inside the bracket, it does the opposite. So if we want to stretch it out, we need to times it by a quarter. If we want to stretch it out four times, it's going to go four times as far. We need to multiply by a quarter. So A is 50. B is a quarter. So we still need to find alpha, but we're finding it to three significant figures. And we've got one more bit of information to, to use. And uh, that's H is one when T is zero. So if we substitute those in, so H is one. So one equals the mod of 50 sine one quarter zero plus alpha. So one equals 50 sine alpha. We've got the mod of 50 sine alpha. 50 sine alpha. So we want to find alpha. So divide by 50 and shift sine. Divide by 50, shift sine. So one fiftieth shift sign the answer, and I've got one point one four three three significant figures one point one five alpha is shift sign one fiftieth, and that's one point one five. So our model, got all the bits now, 
basically we can just write it all together. So H is equal to mod 50 sine one quarter T plus 1.15. Explain why an equation of the form h equals mod a sine bt plus alpha plus d, where d is a positive constant, would be a more appropriate model. So if we added a constant on to the end, it would shift the graph up. It would mean we don't hit zero. So it would mean that the passenger does not hit the ground mean that the passenger would not hit the ground.